Well, Willie Lynch. I've heard so many stories about Willie Lynch. And I'd like to take this one step further to point out something. A lot of what this man is saying in this video is spot on, you know, of course. Divide and conquer. It's one of the first tools that we've ever been taught. Is to divide and conquer. You divide a race of people, like he says, by the differences. And the next group of differences is the height, the eye color, muscle definition, blah blah yakety yakety. But you ever thought real hard about what you just said in this video and you apply some of what you just said to white people and from a white man's perspective you have to look at it like this Willie Lynch did what Willie Lynch did and it worked some of those same trainings have now been applied to white people poor white people poor white people Poor white people see black people with big old cars. Poor white people see black people with fancy jewelry. Poor white people see uh, Mexicans and, and, and blacks with things that they don't have and cannot acquire. You have to take this Willie Lynch teachings to the next level. And don't just apply it to black people, but you apply it to poor people as a whole. See where I'm getting at? It's not just that this man has created, uh, uh, what's the word I want to use? He's created a, a form of, of self-pity. He created a, 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 a world of, of self-disbelief. You can't believe in yourself because you ain't nothing. You're always going to need the master or somebody white to take care of you. He put that thought in the back of, of, of people's minds and in the psyche of thousands upon thousands of generations. I'm just going to say thousands of generations instead of four or five generations or six, seven generations. He put it in thousands of generations. And people fail to realize that his teachings were set forth to keep you controlled. Now, this is the same control that's been going on since then. But, where his control is flawed is the fact that some rise above it. So if some people rise above uh, the, the senseless teachings of Willie Lynch, if some people actually think higher of themselves than what has been uh, installed in our psyche, in our mindset, if some people look at that alone, then he's failed. But there's the crabs and the barrel syndrome. When one person climbs out the hood, he can't reach back to pull somebody else out the hood because there's too many people trying to pull him down on the way out. So why you even go back and waste your time? And that's why people leave and get on and don't go back and when they raise their kids their kids don't know nothing about that part of their so-called lives because they're not exposed to uh, nigger side like genocide niggas they're not exposed to the the, the self-destruction uh, prophecies set forth by those who wanted us to fail or want us to fail let me get back to the beginning of my video now, Willie Lynch, in this man's own words, tells you to put the skinny ones against the tall ones, the short ones against the fat ones, whatever. You know, divide, conquer, once again. And what do you see? What do you see in the streets as an African American? You see Mexicans getting jobs. There are no jobs. So you just can't apply this to black on black. You have to apply... Willie Lynch's doctrine upon all Americans because you have to have a group of people who believe they're in charge too a group of people that that you have right there at your side telling them to do your dirt like he told the man he says let your whole family use this your kids your wife every chance you get 
use this against these people. See what I'm saying? Use it against all of the people but your own. Like any trap, it's a trap. Like any trap set by anybody, those who don't know about the trap will always walk in it, regardless of what they are, who they are. This is America, the melting pot. People come here to fall into this trap. People come here to be a part of the greatest experiment ever known. People come here for a piece of the action. And they become part of this trap. Part of this vicious cycle of black on black crime, black man versus black women. I am so tired of that, it's pitiful. And it is only being perpetuated by those of us who speak on it. In other words, in order to make the ghost disappear, in order to make it to vanish, to make it all go away, you have to see beyond it. You can't acknowledge it. If you acknowledge any stupid shit, you give it validity. You give it, you give it legs to stand on once you acknowledge it. There is no such thing as a sex war. Black man versus black woman. There's no such thing as that. There's just a group of people who don't agree. And they found a place to voice themselves. And they voice themselves loud and clear. People like me, who try to promote unity amongst the races, I don't get no play. But if I turned my so-called energies to explain how I feel about white people, that would get some play. Because I feel about white people about as much as they feel about me. I love people. All people, regardless of what color they are and who they are. But I have felt anger. I feel pain from one group of people more so than another. I feel disrespect from one group of people more so than another. I feel ashamed for one group of people more so than I do another. Um, will I put it on the line? For someone other than my own, I have. I always do. I always have. Maybe that's part of Willie Lynch's teachings. You got to love your master. Well, I don't love my master. Huh. I hate my master. I hate what my master has done to all of my people. Because you have to... <laughs> You have to really look into every situation a little bit closer. Yeah. Because in order to win, they must divide and conquer. Not just one race of people. All races of people. And like I said, the dummies, the biggest fools of this whole thing are those who are carrying out the next person's orders. Because in the end, you know how it goes down. In the very end, like in every great movie, and like in every great thing that we've ever seen, in the end, the only one standing is the mastermind. Because he, or she, or them, once they get their dirt done, then they're going to turn on those who did the dirt for them. That is human nature. You cannot let the person that did your dirt continue to live. Because then... There's an option and odds that somebody else will learn how dirty you are. And once somebody else learns how dirty you are, you lose power. And that part of Willie Lynch's teachings. You know what the end is, right? The end is to liquidate those who do the dirt. So there's bigger fools than the slaves. There's bigger fools. See what I'm saying? To be enslaved is one thing. To be the slaver who's enslaved, to enslave, that's another.